Hi friends, look at this super cool t-shirt I have. Its pattern is made using powder-free DTF printing technology. Isn't it awesome? Today, I have prepared a very practical beginner's guide to powder-free DTF printing for all of you who have no basic experience. I will explain it in details, whether it is printing process, hot pressing techniques, or how to deal with various emergencies. Come, I believe you will definitely gain something from this video. Follow me! Regarding the printing process of the powder-free machine, we actually specifically talked about it in the recent released video, but we still received many messages from friends, hoping that we can explain the usage conditions and printing process in more details. Okay, then today I will use the DTF 6004G powderless DTF printer next to me to tell you how to print high-quality printing effects. Before operating, I would like to share with you the requirements for glue and ink of the DTF powderless printer. This is also the issue that many friends are most concerned about, because they will directly affect the quality of printing and transfer. First, the glue needs to have the following characteristics. 1. Strong adhesion. First of all, it must be firmly attached to the printing film so that the combination of ink and glue will not easily fall off the printing film. Secondly, whether it is cotton or polyester, the glue should form a strong bond on its surface to ensure that the pattern remains intact and clear after daily wear and washing. 2. Excellent stability and compatibility. The excellent stability will greatly reduce the production problems of the glue and the good compatibility allows the glue to be well integrated with the ink and printing film without causing the ink to discolor and precipitate and will not damage the film material and printing effect. 3. Moderate viscosity and drying speed. The viscosity of the DTF powderless printer glue should be moderate. Too high or too low will affect the coating effect and adhesion. The drying speed needs to match the process and it should be flexible after drying to prevent the pattern from cracking and falling off. 4. Excellent environmental protection. Glue should meet environmental protection requirements and ensure good safety during storage, transportation and use. It should be non-flammable, non-explosive, non-volatile, non-toxic and harmless. Secondly, the ink used. Many novice friends think that the ordinary ink they purchased before can also be used on a powder-free machine. In fact, this is one of the fundamental reasons why many friends print poor patterns. We do not recommend using ordinary ink for DTF. Blue ink machine, mainly because the special ink and the printing technology of the DTF powderless printer can be highly matched to ensure the best printing effect. Moreover, the special ink has stronger, light fastness, moisture resistance and excellent color saturation. These characteristics are crucial to maintaining the durability and vividness of the printed pattern. In addition, DTF Special Ink is designed to prevent nozzles from clogging, reducing maintenance requirements and improving work efficiency. Ordinary inks do not have these characteristics, which can easily lead to reduced print quality, clogging of nozzles and even damage to the machine. Therefore, in order to ensure the printing effect and equipment safety, it is recommended to use Special Ink and Special Glues specially designed for DTF powderless printers. When we developed this ink and glue, we fully considered the working characteristics and requirements of the DTF powderless printer. Therefore, the two can cooperate well with the machine to ensure the stability and efficiency of the entire production process. Okay, now I believe everyone has a basic understanding of the glue and ink that the DTF powderless printers need to use. Now we start printing. 
It is worth mentioning that if you need to do mass production, we recommend that you try printing before production. Once, to avoid unnecessary losses, the process is mainly divided into the following steps. 1. Now we open the printing software and import the pattern that needs to be printed. Set the appropriate printing area and resolution according to the size of the printing material and the parameters of the printer. 2. Now we connect 4 bags of color ink, 1 bag of white ink and 2 bags of glue to the ink tube of the printer and install the printing film into the paper feeder of the printer. Making sure that the printing material is flat, wrinkle-free and in contact with the printer's ink tube. Keep the nozzle at an appropriate distance. 3. After confirming that the settings are correct in the printing software, click the Start Printing button. 4. The printed pattern will be directly heated and dried in a hot air oven. The temperature and environment of the oven are of great significance to whether the glue can be perfectly cured, so the temperature setting in the oven is crucial. Precise temperature control can ensure that the material will not be damaged due to excessively high temperature during the drying process, nor will it be incompletely dried due to low temperature, affecting product quality. Therefore, we recommend that you choose an oven that can adjust the temperature in sections. For example, this oven from Sublistar can be preset in sections. The specific temperatures are as follows. The heating temperature of the platform where the printer and the oven are connected is set to 50 degrees and the front and rear ends of the oven are both 100 degrees. 5. After drying, you can use an automatic DTF film cutting machine to cut the film. Then place it on the heat press or use an iron or other equipment to transfer the pattern onto fabrics such as t-shirts. It is worth noting that the hot pressing temperature and duration of different materials are different. For example, cotton fabric is 180 degrees and requires 15 seconds of pressing and repressing respectively while polyester materials requires 150 degrees and requires the same pressing and repressing 15 seconds respectively. Isn't the effect of printing according to our requirements great? However, like other mechanical equipments, the DTF powderless printer may also encounter various failures during use. These failures will not only affect the production schedule, but may also have a serious impact on the quality of the printed products. So next, let's go in depth, let's discuss the various possible failures of DTF powderless printers, their causes and solutions. Part 1. Poor printing effect. Problem manifestation. 1. The printed pattern is blurry, the color is not bright or there is color difference. 2. The pattern has defects such as stripes and spots, which affects the appearance. Reason 1. The image resolution is too low. If the original image resolution itself does not meet the printing requirements, the printed pattern will be blurred. Suggestion. Print the image resolution greater than 300 dpi and above. Reason 2. The nozzle is clogged or not calibrated. If some nozzles of the nozzle are clogged, the ink droplets will be sprayed unevenly, which will affect the clarity of the pattern. If the nozzle is not calibrated, the ink droplets will fall inaccurately, which will also make the pattern blurred. Suggestion: Clean and calibrate the nozzle. Use the nozzle cleaning function of the printer. Perform multiple cleaning operations according to the operating instructions. Calibrate the nozzle after cleaning Print the nozzle calibration test pattern and adjust the nozzle position in the printer settings according to the deviation of the pattern to ensure accurate ink droplet spraying. Reason 3. The nozzle is clogged. The ink level in the ink cartridge is insufficient. The ink might be sprayed unevenly, thus affecting the normal presentation of color. 
Suggestion. Check the ink level in the ink cartridge or add or replace the ink cartridge in time. Clean the nozzle to check if there is any blockage to ensure that the ink can be sprayed normally and evenly. Then, print a color test pattern and fine-tune the color settings according to the test results. Reason 4. Ink quality problem. The ink used does not meet the requirements of the printer, or the ink itself has poor color accuracy, which easily leads to the color being inconsistent with the design draft. Suggestion: Replace with high-quality ink. Choose an ink brand that is compatible with powder 3DTF printers, has reliable quality and accurate colors, and conduct a test print to compare the results after replacing the ink. Reason 5. Check and update the color profile. The color profile might be too old or installed incorrectly, resulting in poor print quality. Suggestion. Download the accurate profile for the corresponding model from the printer manufacturer's official website and install it. Restart the printer and related software and print again. Part 2. Equipment cannot operate normally. Problem manifestations 1. The DTF powderless printer cannot start or suddenly stops during operation. 2. The equipment has abnormal noise, vibration, etc. Reason 1. Power supply problem. Power line failure such as short circuit, open circuit, etc. and stable power supply voltage too high or too low voltage will affect the normal operation of the equipment. Suggestion: Check the power line to check whether there are problems such as short circuit, open circuit, etc. and repair or replace the damaged line in time. Use a stable power supply to avoid the impact of voltage fluctuations on the equipment. Reason 2 the transmission part of the equipment are worn and damaged, resulting in the equipment being unable to operate normally. The control system of the equipment fails, such as sensor damage, controlled failure, etc. Suggestion: Check and maintain the equipment. Check the mechanical parts of the equipment regularly and replace them in time if they are worn or damaged. The control system of the equipment fails, contact professional technicians for repair in time. Part 3. Poor transfer effect. Problems manifestation. The transferred pattern is not firm and easy to fall off, and the transferred pattern is deformed and discolored. Reason 1. The quality of the glue is poor and the adhesion is not strong. The drying time of the glue is not appropriate too long or too short will affect the transfer effect. Suggestion: Choose the right glue. Use glue with good quality and strong adhesion. Choose the right glue drying time according to the transfer material and requirements. Reason 2. Transfer process problem. Unreasonable settings of transfer temperature, pressure and other parameters improper selection of transfer materials affecting the transfer effect. Suggestions Optimize the transfer process. Reasonably set transfer temperature, pressure and other parameters and find the best transfer process through experiments and adjustments. Choose the right transfer material to ensure the transfer effect. Well, the above is all about the DTF powderless printer operation guide. If you have other questions or want to know more about the DTF powerless printer, you are welcome to send us a private message or leave a comment. We provide free samples delivery service for consumable materials. Sublistar, discover the print difference. See you next time!